Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Mina Nada. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Zumo. Uh, I'm absolutely exhilarated to be here with you today, uh, and also to see the amazing innovation out there uh, from all these amazing micromobility companies. I'm also really pleased to be here on behalf of my team uh, to talk about the amazing innovation that's been happening at Zumo for the past year and to reveal to you a world-first uh, vehicle, the Zumo One. Now, what is Zumo? We're an urban uh, commercial fleet mobility platform. What does that mean? We're really focused on people who are moving things from A to B rather than people who are focused on moving themselves from A to B. Most of the companies out here today are in that consumer space, but really focused on that commercial space. Um, and one way to think about it is what you see on the screen there. On the x-axis, people are either moving things or moving people on a very simplistic level, and they're either doing it a short distance or a long distance. And most of the companies here are in that bottom left quadrant, but Zumo is hyper-focused on that bottom right quadrant. We really think there's amazing space for innovation to move our logistics uh, and, our, and our commercial fleets that direction. And so who are our customers? They're predominantly in the food and grocery space. In fact, their entire business models are, entirely, are almost entirely built on needing micro-mobility. Uh, you look around your cities at your Deliveroo's and your Uber Eats and, uh, and your grocery delivery companies, and they need e-bikes to move things around. But it's really, really hard. Um, and so when we think about their challenges, you know, they're really focused on the last mile. Think about how you got here today from the airport, say, to this, to this event. You could have you know, used an Uber and spent almost as much as you would have on a flight from Paris to here or you could have done the greener and cleaner option and taken a train and walked, but that might have taken as long as, again, your flight from Paris to here. They're tough trade-offs that you're making in the last mile. Now, our customers know that using e-bikes will improve their efficiency and help them to address that challenge, but it's really hard to scale up those solutions. The hardware isn't fit for purpose. The vehicle costs are high. Uh, the, the software doesn't exist that solves their needs. Um, the, the servicing sophistication doesn't exist to solve their needs either. And so what Zumo does is address all of those challenges. We make sure they have vehicles that are fit for purpose for their requirements. We're talking about customers that are doing 50,000 kilometers per annum. Um, we're talking about making this affordable and offering financing solutions the same way that you can do that in commercial trucking. Um, software solutions that integrate into their systems to make them safe, uh, to make them efficient. Um, and we do all of this with hardware where it exists from amazing OEMs uh, that are out there today and, and many that we work with today. But where the problem is not solved with existing solutions, we build it ourselves. And we think that has great cost savings for us and for our customers and great customer experience improvements for them when we build the solutions that they need given this nascent environment that we're in. And so we did that most famously in 2019 with the Zumo Zero and the Zumo Sport, which are the most preferred vehicles for last mile delivery in the markets that we operate today. Um, these vehicles, you know, we went out and scoured the world at all the bike conferences we could to find commercially oriented delivery bikes that could withstand the heavy duty usage and, and the challenges of last mile delivery. Uh, and we couldn't find them, so we decided to do, do it ourselves. But we've had constructive feedback. A lot of it relates to the fact that, hey, I need multimodal solutions in my fleet. Your bikes are really good in the heart of London, but as I get to the suburbs, I need mopeds maybe, or I need faster vehicles, and 25 kilometers per hour just isn't fast enough. Uh, and so as we thought about how to deal with our customers' requirements, we realized that what they needed didn't exist today. What they need is what's known in Europe as a speed pedelec or in uh, the US as a class three e-bike. Um, they want the flexibility of an e-bike, uh, but they want the speed of a moped. And for them, that should cover the majority of their needs. Uh, and so you know, today, what you're seeing for the first time is the world's first uh, commercially made speed pedelec, or speed pedelec for delivery. I think it's a pretty sexy beast. I hope you guys will, will feel the same too, for a commercial vehicle at least. Uh, and so today you're going to get the chance to test ride it, uh, you're going to get the chance to uh, check it out, uh, and you'll be able to see, see a bit more about it uh, later on today. Now, this thing is an absolute animal. Uh, it's four times more powerful a motor than what we have in our traditional Zumo Zero, which makes up the, the thousands of vehicles in our fleet today. Um, from a safety perspective, things that are taken for granted in automotive, indicator lights, dynamic rear lights, suspension, uh, from total cost of ownership reduction, alloy wheels, integrated hubs. From a commercial fleet perspective, plastic fairings that you can easily change. These, cost, these bikes have been built by couriers for couriers. You know, we heard from the courier in Cologne that I don't want to be using my, my spine as suspension, and so we added front and rear suspension in there. Um, it's been built with input from mechanics, from, from um, procurement people, and from our business customers to make sure that we're solving their needs from the bottom up. 
one thing that's important to note is that our customers are multimodal. The Zumo 1 is not going to be displacing a Zumo 0 or a Class 1 bike. Um, actually, in the same way that in consumer micromobility world, there are a variety of form factors to, to deal with a variety of needs, the same thing is happening in commercial fleets. And so watch out in the not, not too distant future for also an upgrade, uh, an announcement around a facelift on the Zumo 0 vehicle that we have. Now, you know, these vehicles will ultimately displace mopeds, we think, in customers' fleets. Uh, they weigh 35 kilos compared to 100 kilos. They can actually park on the footpath legally. Um, and in many countries, they don't need registration, they don't need licensing, they don't need insurance, and it varies in Europe from, from country to country. Um, now, what we're doing with this class of vehicle is fundamentally new. Uh, our supply chain can't handle it, and we're helping to upgrade the, the supply chain that exists for bikes. We have people on our teams that are consumer electronics engineers, automotive, uh, even James Carkery here was working in the Royal Navy's submarine program. So we're doing things that are completely new in this industry to meet our customers' requirements. Now, at the end of the day, though, our customers are not just getting a, a bike. They're getting a solution, and they're getting part of a Zumo ecosystem. What's really important for them is the accessories, whether it's like trailers and containers and even warm weather pa cold weather packs to, to keep them warm, the software integrations from the f smart um, features in this vehicle that integrate into their systems, and the global servicing network that we provide. So when will all this be available? Um, our customers are going to be able to order these and pilot them this year uh, with mass deployment starting uh, in the United States this year. Uh, and, in, and in Europe, um, no surprise, a little bit more red tape to, to deal with over here and, and regulation uh, coming out a bit later in the year next year. Um, so please uh, take the moment to uh, check out the QR code if you want to hear a little bit more or see, see and read a little bit more about this vehicle. Uh, welcome to, to come and check it out um, at, the, at the test track today. Thank you very much for your time today, and I look forward to seeing you around the traps. Thank you. Thank you.